Hi, this is 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I'm going to bring you a video, this is something completely different. This is a conversation me and Mr. War had on the now defunct Discord channel known as Bookshaven. Uh, this was during the, f the second ceasefire between IED and 7th Legion. Uh, this was a conversation we had. Uh, Mr. War was obviously very angry with me. Uh, you'll see that in his comments, you'll see that in the way he frames his comments. Now, I did think about doing this video for the longest time and then I decided to go another route and I decided to be conciliatory and I went down the route of posting videos um, like the the one uh, the toxic one which if you haven't seen actually promotes good sportsmanship between myself and IED uh, and tries to dispel this horrific rumor that people keep spreading that I'm hate-filled or a toxic lying whatever uh, unfortunately the response to that video was more accusations that I am a hate-filled narcissist driving people towards suicide with my over-the-top ridiculous personal attacks. Um, yeah, I looked through my videos and I couldn't find anything that I would consider to be an over-the-top personal attack on anyone. Um, if I've offended you with a joke or if you have an issue with my content in any way, shape or form, please let me know. I am always happy to apologize. I occasionally make jokes and people take them the wrong way. I have apologized to many people for my jokes causing offense. I have no issue with issuing apologies and I'm sorry if you feel that I've overstepped and gone too far. I certainly wouldn't like to be seen to be driving anyone towards anything. Uh, I get quite spiky in some of my videos when I'm defending myself from accusations that I'm a liar or that I'm toxic. And again, I am offering any member of IED, absolutely anyone, send me one screenshot of one message I've sent to anybody that's hate-filled, toxic, or disgusting, or over the top. In fact, don't do that. Just report it to FDev and get me banned. If I'm truly that bad, then report it to FDev and get me banned for life. Because this has just gone on. This is like, this has been... Uh, what now, five months of constant accusations that I'm horrible and toxic? It's slightly annoying. I mean, if I was, you'd have one screenshot to show it, surely. Um, you know, if you want to keep making out I'm lying and I'm toxic, I'll keep making videos showing actual conversations I've had with actual members of your faction, and we'll see where we go. Now, to put this into context, um, Bookshaven was designed to be like a space station, so it had different ports and terminals and things that you could access for different things. Now, one of the places you could go, which I never went, was there was a question uh, that you had to mark in a certain way to say you were a lawful commander, and if you ticked the, if you put one of the icons in a certain place, you gained access to this special thread for lawful pirate uh, pilots. <laughs> lawful pirates, um, <laughs> yeah lawful pilots and the lawful section the question one of the questions was do you only engage in consensual pvp so i was bringing this uh, up with uh, be great or be bait because uh lawful as even the nicest lawful commander out there will not ask for consent before attacking an in-game bad guy such as myself uh you know they will just yank you out of super cruise and start blasting you they're not going to ask you for consent because otherwise you'd just sit there going, no thanks. <laughs> I say, death by plasma from B, great. No, no, it's okay. Um, no, 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 not today. I'm busy. I'm busy committing crime and ganking people. So I just thought the question was a bit silly. I was having a conversation with B, great about it. Uh, just before that, you'll see I'm having a conversation with Spare Ration because he said he's taking a break from the game. Um, so I was having a conversation with him about that. And then Mr. War enters the conversation. Now, I did think about how to present this, but I'm just going to read out what's said uh, because I don't want to do silly voices. I was not I was tempted to get someone else to read it. I was tempted to make this the war a robot and turn this into an interview. But I'm just going to read what he says. No silly voices, no BS. Uh, he says, this rubbish needs to stop. It's not fun for everyone. I literally started to think that talking to some people is pointless. Different perspectives and roleplay plays that don't agree with each other. We will never convince the other of each other's actions, and if we end up being enemies, so be it. I know IED won't lose a, uh, lose sleep over it, but 
the constant bickering accusations does the game no good. People get tired of it and people will leave the game uh, for it. And we shall only have ourselves to blame when less people play. It's truly pathetic. We all love the game and frankly the sole reason personally I didn't want to start an oddball uh, was because we had a friendlier rivalry in game before then and I preferred that. I've seen it so many times, people on both sides get fed up and leave the game and then people boast like idiots uh, when there is less people to shoot, Kill Killer Elite is being won. In five years I've never seen so much keyboard bullshit. Now obviously Mr. War thinks that I'm having a go at Be Great um, for being lawful. I'm honestly not, I was only discussing the in Bookshaven access terminal because it's just kind of silly when you look at the word consensual in that context uh, but obviously Mr. War thought I was having a pop at um, IED um, which I clearly have criticised IED re over recent months and I've criticised them a lot um, his uh, he's interestingly talking about the fact that IED um, decreed that me and Star were not allowed back in the Dark Marauders otherwise they'd attack the Dark Marauders BGS but he's not actually saying it. Uh, this is because IED will not actually say that uh, because it proves like so many points. It proves the fact that they were willing to threaten BGS to do stuff and the fact that they tell other factions what to do by telling another faction who and who they cannot have in their faction. Um, now I understand that you know life before me and Star joined the Dark Marauders I don't know what he's on about there. I've been in the Dark Marauders three years um, I I don't remember being a massive um, horrible pain in the butt for the uh, IED three years ago. Uh, they just murdered and killed me over and over again in trade ships. Now, I did engage in the conversation as I went back with, sorry not making sense there, but the sole reason what? Uh, say it, don't tease it. Sole reason you voted against me and start going back to the DMPS under a veil with BGS threat. Uh, you can admit it, but lol. I said to you, uh, I understood at the time, you didn't like us dropping tags. And I was fine. Um, I was, and I am, fine with it. The lying and claiming it was DMPS not wanting me back annoyed me. Uh, to be honest, I tried to do the friendly rivalry all along, joking about you guys being bad at interdictions and saying what you do in game is not meant to be salt. Uh, not meant as salt. I only get spiky when people keep saying I am lying. Hate filled person all the time. Hmm. Be honest. In all the time you have known me, have I sworn at or abused any IED member ever? Question mark. You kill me, all you get is a GG. I honestly just play for fun. I have never minded dying. I understand you, you guys don't like the criticism. But making silly statements about it being only my opinion is still lying about me, just albeit gently. Now I'm referring to the, it's just my opinion that they use Primo um, crimes and Healy beams, which is something that was evidence over and over and over again. And then Mr. War made a statement on Discord uh, saying how it was just one person's opinion and basically making out I was lying, uh, or inferring I was lying, I should say. Um, watch my video from yesterday, a fun 1v1 with Diambi, which was, it was an awesome 1v1 with Diambi Goa of IED. So much fun. I agree it is getting stupid, so make peace, please. You lost the PvP, won the BGS, everyone knows it, time to move on. And it is. It, the ball is in IED's court when it comes to negotiating and ending this war between 7th Legion and IED. This is the second ceasefire they've asked for, and you know the ball is very much in their court. As you can see, I continue with Be Great explaining that I'm talking about the access terminal uh, for the lawful section. I, you know, I think there was misunderstanding. Paul thought I was criticising IED when I was saying about consensual PvP. I wasn't. I was just talking about a minor thing in Bookshaven. Anyway, uh, we'll get back to Paul's response to my response. Uh, so here we go, Paul's response. Uh, this is my personal preference, maybe not shared by the faction. We had a better relationship with DM with you guys not in there. Oh, sorry, not there. Uh, your videos can be provocative and do their tensions, whether you put a lull in there or not. 
You make it sound like we hammer people's BGS because we can. It's totally untrue. If you attack our players in our systems, we hit back. What kind of faction would we be if we let people attack our players and did nothing in response? The idea that DM might uh, have been threatened was because others could do the same. Drop tags, attack and reapply and then attacking faction just to deny it um, and be immune to counter-strike. Remember it is hard to tell if you're being toxic or just joking as it's just text. All I'm saying is all this rubbish is not good for the game. I actually agree with him. All this rubbish is not good for the game. Uh, I do agree with that. Um, my videos be provocative. They're supposed to be. Um, I'm asking pointed questions and criticizing an in-game faction for their rules of engagement. Uh, the reason I'm criticizing them is because they constantly tell everyone they're the good guys while, while attacking unarmed and AX ships and murdering newbies. Uh, personally, I think they should have higher standards if they want to claim to be good guys. Um, I'm sorry if you find that provocative and tension causing. I personally think it's just kind of sensible. Now, I would just like to clarify one thing. Uh, Mr. Wall there says that I make it sound like the Hammer BGS. I've only ever said that they threaten BGS. I have <laughs> said that they do flex that BGS threat a lot. Uh, that it is a go-to of theirs, but I've never said they hammer people's BGS for no reason. They just tend to like to threaten it. Um, but, you know, it's easier to uh, misrepresent what I'm saying to then find fault with it. If you actually just go off what I'm actually saying, then it's quite difficult because I've evidenced everything I've actually said. Uh, this is, a, I believe, the Kathy Newman method, as it's now known, the so you were saying <laughs> type thing. Uh, but let's get into my response. Uh, so I go with, I think you need to have a management meeting because some of your guys do like to flex the BGS threat a little bit more than you seem to know, bud. Why do you think DMPS abandoned their BGS to be free of, from the threat? Not something Polo and Orc would do without, with, for no reason. Uh, my videos were meant to be provocative, but I was not. I was trying for non-toxic, sorry if you think I missed. Still admit no hate messages from me, in brackets. I personally thought the meanest joke of the war was the one about Flipper. Uh, lucky he took it so well. I still think hurting people, uh, sorry, hunting people, to the extent that some of your guys do, is not good for the game. Every group has a few that take it too far, and you guys are no different, and you let them kill unarmed ships and AX ships, and it will come back to bite you. I personally think tighter rules will help keep a good guy rep and rein in some excessiveness that could make you look bad. Now I thought I was being reasonably conciliatory there, I'm not, um, you know, I'm being quite sensible, I thought, I didn't expect the response that this got, I must admit, when I typed it I didn't think I was being too harsh, um, I'm not, you know, I'm pointing out the very obvious and yeah, I was surprised by the response this got. Uh, at this point, Be Great decided to chip in with a saying, a significant number of criminals love the fact that IED will shoot them on site, even in traders and such. Um, I never said that that isn't the case. Uh, the next section is, um, there you go with accusations again. Neither side is perfect. You're missing the point. You can carry on accusing us all you want, but the point is we carry on like this and people will walk. People log on to have fun, and when that stops, people won't play any, uh, want to play. You say IED are telling people how to play the game, but constantly telling us what we shouldn't be doing. I have a radical idea. We do what we want, you do what you want, and we react to each other's gameplay accordingly. I'm not changing our five-year-old ROE for 260 players because the majority of players outside the faction don't like it. If you don't like it, play something else. I don't care. Charming. Uh, so, that was Paul's response. I went back with... Uh, Lol, you will not even admit I've not sent you guys any hate messages. I don't know why I waste my time talking with you. Because I have twice asked him, have I sent you any hate messages? And twice, he's just ignored the comment. Uh, you know, <laughs> he won't even give me that. 
uh, even though he knows it to be true and he knows I haven't sent him any hate messages uh, if if he wants I can publish our entire chat on Xbox between me and him I'll happily publish the whole thing between me and him every conversation we've ever had over Xbox Live I will quite happily publish that not a problem I have nothing to hide on my side now um, be great I answer with um, I agree I don't even mind uh, look at the video I did of Mr. War killing me in my SRV. No salt, no complaint. I promoted his channel and went to great lengths to explain that I was a bad guy uh, uh, so he didn't look like a ganker. However, killing an unarmed noob does not sound to me like good guys st um, stuff of good guys. Sorry, but just my opinion. And that's always been my opinion. I don't think killing unarmed noobs is good for the game. Um, IED's entire faction is built on the fact that they're anti-gankers, yet they want to be able to gank unarmed noobs. It just doesn't make sense to me. And why they continue with that policy, I will continue criticising that policy. It's just that simple. Um, back to Paul at War, I said, I am, I am sorry you are so set in your ways, but yeah, you are free to do you, bud. However, radical idea, however, I can still say what I, uh, what I like. It's, uh, and can disagree. Uh, this wording in this is terrible. I went back to edit it, but you'll see the bot wouldn't let me edit it, so there's loads of spelling mistakes and yeah, just rubbish. If you don't like the criticism, then don't watch or listen to it. However, please stop lying about me. One example of your ROE at work. I run a trade wing to help three noobs out. Non-criminals, nice guys, all poor type sixes. One of your guys can drop in, kill all for consorting with a criminal, and claim it was good work, preemptive self-defense. Do you really think that's good for the game? Now that is an example of their rules of engagement at work. It's, I will list their rules of engagement. I'll put them at the end of this video. There's the tiles if you want to stop and pause and read them. They are up on their Anara page um, and you can have a look. And also one little thing, which I didn't mention, is Paul Wall says he's not changing a five-year-old ROE. Their ROE has changed and developed over the years. It wasn't the same three years ago as it is now. Some of those rules have changed. For example, they didn't used to attack unarmed ships. I have conversations with Ragnar Scott on my YouTube channel, on my comment section, after Omni attacked me in an ass exploder saying, it's because it had weapons that he was free to attack you. Um, and then later, about a year later, when I was attacked in an uh, unarmed Type 6, I was told that it was any ship and those rules had changed. At some point they changed. I don't know when that was. I'm not a member of IED. I don't know that. But I do know those goalposts have shifted and those rules of engagement have not been static for five years, uh, despite what Mr. War seems to claim. Uh, then we have me apologising to the bot because every time I tried to edit my text to correct spelling mistakes, I got a warning message about duplicated text. Uh, then we get to Paula War's statement. I'm sure there has been some untrue things said on both sides, and uh, but also things that are correct. I am not here to accuse, defend or deny because that is just a circle that goes round and round and we will never agree. Something you clearly can't get, go past. So I've said what I want to say and end my side of the conversation there as anything else just seems to be arguing like children. Uh, then I immediately go back with the so not answering questions. He's refused to answer the question about uh, whether I've sent any hate or not, repeatedly, like three times, and he's refusing to ask my question on whether it would be fine to kill unarmed ships. So I don't think that's an unfair accusation, but um, so I go with so sorry, uh, so not answering questions, funny, what a surprise. You guys always ignore a simple question. I make allowances and say a tons of mitigating stuff. Uh, things but you will not move a single inch uh, so I doubt there will be peace anytime soon I bet you even try and claim victory in a PvP war you ran away from to BGS I, I love telling I love you telling me to play other games it is funny nah happy to stay on this one um, then uh, then he, then Paul responded <laughs> but we're getting to his response in a moment uh, and I went back. It was an honest question, but instead you turned to abuse. Thanks for the abuse, bud. And then uh, to be great, I take it your ROE will not allow you to kill three unarmed Type 6 noobs for such a flimsy reason. A question that be great didn't come back and answer. 
Uh, the bit that's missing is because Mr. Ward deleted his comment, uh, his response to my comment, um, after he said it. Now, luckily, I was able to capture the screen grab the moment before Paula Ward deleted it. So here's his comment. Um, as you can see, it's one word different from the message that Garrick sent me the other week. So I wonder where Garrick's got that from. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, if you can't debate with somebody, just turn to abuse. That, that seems to be the way to go. Uh, but that's my conversation with Mr. Wall. Now, at that point, it wrapped up for the day and um, Mr. Wall didn't come back. Uh, it, you tend to find in a discussion when someone turns to abuse, that's the discussion over with. Um, you know, IED have been very offended by me uh, attacking their in-game faction for hypocrisy and what they do. Um, they didn't like my video, why are people picking on IED? But haven't been able to dispute any of the actual content. Uh, they got offended by me saying they are tyrants, which is odd considering this is Mr. War's bio, and he says, Your oppression is my obsession. How are you not a tyrant when your bio says, Your oppression is my obsession? <laughs> uh, you run a 270, I think it is close to now, player faction that um, enforces the law and its will upon the game. Um, I think you really need to look up what a tyrant is, Mr. <laughs> uh They got really offended by me saying they were tyrants and bullies and la la la, because they pick on smaller factions and they tell other factions what to do. I mean, I, you know, I've never told IED who should or shouldn't be in within IED's ranks. I have never told IED what they should or shouldn't do. I am merely pointing out that if you're going to claim you're the paragon white knights of the game, the best of the best, the glowingest white knights there are, and make out the forums that you're white knights, maybe, maybe you should act like it. Because if you're lying to the forums, if you're lying to everyone, and you're just gankers with a badge, then that's hypocrisy. And I'm here to point out your hypocrisies. You are free to behave however you want to behave. You are free to do whatever you want to do. But I am also free to exercise my right to point it out and to say about it. That's simply all I'm doing. I'm not personally attacking anyone. I'm not effing and jeffing at anyone. I'm not sending anyone abuse. I'm not doing anything particularly horrible. All I'm doing is pointing out what you do in game and what you claim to do in game and pointing out some jokes between. If you don't like it, don't watch it. There's plenty of other YouTube channels out there. But that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And uh, I'll say, <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Um, that, that was, yeah, that was weird. <laughs>